Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to do the February month reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. If you're new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are one of my returning viewers, watchers, or subscribers, I'm sending so much love and light your way. Cross watchers are always welcome as well. Come on in. If you don't know, I am not big on signs. I like to focus on you Pisces when it comes to genders. And tarot, just know it's really all about energy, so don't really focus on gender too much. Focus on the messages. Only take what resonates for you. If it don't resonate, don't take it. If it feels odd or off or like it's not for you, then it's not, okay? I usually don't do reversals, you guys, but today I am doing reversals. And I am going to use three decks in your spread. They're all oracle messages, so very high level, okay? It's a little bit different than what I usually do. Pisces, but I'm trying something new and I have used this deck, you know, two of them are newer decks, but I have used it. So I did a mid month collective reading for you guys for January. So if you want to go back and look, that's the first time I used this Oracle deck. It looks like this and I'll be using this for part two of your reading today. It's called Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards. It's really cool deck. I'm, I'm loving it. So this is the only deck that I will read in reversal today. And, um, it's been really fun to do and I'm liking it. So please remember to like, share, subscribe. And comment, you guys leave awesome comments, and I really do appreciate um, your honesty and just your heartfelt comments that you guys leave. It's it's really nice, and um, I appreciate that real talk. And when you do like the video, it keeps my channel going and growing, and that's really my goal. So I appreciate each and every one of you. Please know that. When it comes to readings and life coaching sessions, I am available for both. If you want a reading, I am continuing a special. So $25 for life coaching and $25 for readings. And uh, my email is below. You can contact me and I will um, get back to you as soon as possible. So um, I'm I'm continuing the special because I'm really liking the um, fortune telling readings. It's been really fun for me. It's no questions, but I'm pretty much giving a reading like what you see here. But of course, it'll be a lot more decks and messages based on, you know, my intuitive gifts and what I'm feeling like, you know, using. But um, it's really cool and I like it. And I'm very encouraging and uplifting, so I think you guys would enjoy that. And as far as life coaching sessions, remember, it's just um, you sharing a personal story or you having a question about life. It could be career. It could be about love, whatever you're you're thinking about. And um, I'll give you some advice. I have three degrees. I have a lot of life experience. Um, I work with various types of people. I've, oh, my goodness. I've had so many jobs. I've, I've traveled. I've traveled a lot. So, um yeah, I have a lot of life experience to offer. Plus, I'm ordained by God to do this, so I will give you the best of me. So whatever you feel comfortable with, and just hit my email up if you are interested. I do have Cash App and PayPal if you're interested and generous and you want to give a donation. Just know this, I'm very responsible with money and anything that you give me, believe me, I'll pour that energy right back to you. Okay, and yes, those links are below as well. So all of your cards have been prayed upon and meditated upon. And also, I did post life coaching session number 17, how to cope with death. If that's something you need or is interested in, um, it is available. Okay. So I do both. Typically, when I do life coaching sessions, it's on Fridays, but I only do them when I feel like spirit moves me to do it. So it's not every week. Um, sometimes I get on a roll and it will be every week in a month, but it just depends on what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing, and what I feel like you guys need, what comes to me to do. So I'm very um, particular with that. Okay, so Pisces, let's start your reading. Oh, yeah, and I just told the, all the other signs that I've done so far and posted that for some reason, your titles will relate to music. For some reason, I'm hearing a lot of music when I'm doing your readings this month for February. I don't know if it has to do with Valentine's Day or what, but I'm hearing like a lot of different songs. It's interesting, but it's correlating with the messages with your reading to me anyways, but um. So my titles may be a little bit different than what I usually post. So I'm just letting you guys know. So if something comes through, I will let you know. So we are going to start with a deck. I'm loving this. is one of my newer decks. I have used it before, but um, it's newer. I really love it. It's just really cool deck. I love the colors. I'm, I guess I'm starting to really get into like chakras and stuff. I'm just really advancing. And it's called Conscious Spirit Oracle Deck by um, Kim Dreer. So let's begin your reading. For Pisces Spirit, please come through as you always do. Let's get a message for the zodiac sign of Pisces. I'm going to take what comes out.
really cool deck. I just, I'm loving the messages and just everything. The feel of it is just really cool. That jumped out and went back, so I'm not going to take it. I'm only taking it when it comes out for Pisces Spirit for the month of February, year 2021 for Pisces. There it is. It fell on my toe, but I'm going to take it <laughs> because if it came out, it's important. And yes, I do take them off the floor. Okay, so you guys have root chakra. This is number five. So you may want to look up angel number five. You can actually just Google that. And your message says, I have everything I need to survive and grow on the physical plane. So I feel like a lot of answers are within you and that you will have what you need to be successful in life. And this um, deck has a book, but I've made my own notes. So just know that root chakra is linked to earth. So you guys are in like survival mode. It's like you're focusing on your needs. Some of you may really love the color red, or you like to wear red, or you may be seeing a lot of red. It's very vibrant, but it could be very significant to you, or somebody could be nicknamed Red or something like that. Um, I'm hearing Little Red Riding Hood. I don't know why, but um, <laughs> that just came to mind. But Red may be significant in the month of February. I'm sure it will be because pink and red and white, those are Valentine's colors. But um, that may be significant or important to you. Spirit wants you to know, do not measure your life against anybody else's. Focus on what you have, what you want, what you desire, what you feel is right and best for you. Follow your instincts and follow your own truth. You know what I mean? Trust what's right and truthful for you. That's what I'm hearing. So root chakra, interesting. Okay. And what else? Let me see. Also, um... Just to add red crystals it may help you like balance this root chakra, okay? Some of you may meditate more or start meditation. That's really good. Um, you may work with red crystals or start like yoga or some type of exercise program. This could be good for your body. If you need professional help, seek it. You know, tarot card readers, we can only help with so much. You know, God is always first and listen to your intuition and do what's best for you. But if you need to see a doctor or a psychologist or... Um, another type of spiritualist or a pastor or priest something like that do that especially if you're suffering from any childhood traumas or blockages you know anything that's holding you back because of what you have gone through we all need help in this world and sometimes we need a physician or um, a specialist to help if there's nothing wrong with that reach out and get the help that you need if you need that okay or you may be referring somebody you know to this type of advice um, just give them their support and just know that you're supported as well, you know, cause you don't want any issues preventing you from finding the meaning of your life. Okay. You want to be on your right path. And I feel like that's where you are. A lot of you, I feel are in survival mode. Like you're, you're being more strategic and tactful about how you move and what's in your house, your resources, you're taking inventory of what you have and what you need, what you don't. And you only want to keep what you need and just add on. So that's good. Okay, so let's start the second part of your reading. And this is where I use the Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman. And this comes with like um, a book. It don't come with it, but like, not in my deck anyways, but you can um, download the book and it's almost 100 pages. But I'm just flipping through it. There's so many spreads. There's so many, there's so much information. And oh my goodness, it's a lot. Like, I'm just, I just adore this book. <laughs> And I'm glad it's on download so I could just print it. But um, it's really cool. So I'm loving using this deck. This is the only deck that I will use reversal for. I will shuffle in front of you and then I'll cut the deck, okay? This is by Tori Hartman. Once again, it's the Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards deck. Spirit, please come through for the Zodiac sign of Pisces for the month of February, year 2021. What messages do you have for the Zodiac sign of Pisces? I will read this in reversal and in the upright. And just to let you guys know, it just came to my mind that I saw discovery and soulmate when I was pre-shuffling. So I just want to let you know. And I think I saw joy. I think joy as well for Pisces. Spirit. What do they need to know for Pisces? Oh, 
Okay. Let's begin. That was an interesting cut. Okay. And I am going to use um, the star C formation. I use that one a lot. Okay. So, and the center represents you and your current and present situation. Two represents the change you will see next or what's happening next. Three represents what's going to trigger that change. Four represents the action you can take from spirit. Five represents what's happening in your environment with family, friends, co-workers, neighbors, relatives, people around you. Six is the outcome. And I always start with the bottom of the deck. You have joy in the upright. So something's going to really make you happy this month. You may find yourself singing or dancing around or doing something um, funny or something like that. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, do it brings you pleasure, what's positive, what's good. I mean, she's got her eyes closed. She's getting her groove on. Sunflowers uh, maybe coming your way. Maybe somebody's delivering you some sunflowers or giving you some. Or you're buying yourself some or for somebody that you love, your mom or your dad, your grandma, somebody. But anyways, you may surround yourself with just flowers, period. I mean, it's winter time, but she's dancing like it's the summertime, just having a good time. She got a summer dress on. Or you may have your summer shorts on or whatever. But, um, you know, she's just enjoying life. So make the most of life. That's what I'm hearing. So <laughs> it's funny. I'm on my Mariah kick right now. So I'm hearing It's Like That, y'all. So her song, It's Like That, you guys may want to look that up. So just make the most of life. That's what I'm hearing. So something's going to make you happy. I like that energy. That's the overall energy. I'm loving that. Okay, so let's see what represents you in the upright. You guys have bittersweet. So what I'm getting from this is, Something good is coming in, but you may have had to make a change in life. It's like you're taking the good with the bad. You know what I mean? It's, it's bittersweet. And so like maybe you left a job you liked to get to a job that you loved. Or maybe you had to leave a relationship to focus on self-love and self-care and somebody more wonderful comes along. Or the opportunity of a lifetime comes along, but you have to move away from your family or friends. Something is changing for you or has changed rather. Something that's helping you fly and elevate and just keep going forward with your life, but you are reflecting on the past, you know, the good times, the bad times, the in-between times, it's bittersweet, but I'm hearing spirits say just focus more on what's sweet and what's good because it's like I'm seeing this lady in this card and she has like a tear coming out of her eye, but she's giving somebody a cake. So somebody may give you a gift. Maybe you're leaving, like I said, a situation, you're moving or um, making a change in your life, but Whatever this is, it's for the good, like something better is coming along or has come along. So that's what I'm seeing in your present and current situation. It's better sweet. I don't think I've seen this card come out yet, but I like it. I like the feel of this for you, especially with joy being your overall energy. So you're moving towards your bliss. And, you know, everybody's not always open to accept change, but change ultimately I think is good as long as it's for the positive and it's for the greater good of you. You have to do what's best for you. What will you see next or the change that's coming in next? In reverse, you guys have victim. So maybe in the past you suffered um, some type of tragedy, God forbid, or some type of heartache. Something happened where you were the victim. And I'm sorry for whoever this was, but it's like you're out of this mentality. I feel like you've healed and you've grown or you're on your healing process and you're elevating. You're finding new ways to love yourself and to prepare for life you're more stronger than you used to be. It's like nothing could stop you. You're seeing the life in like a new light with new eyes. You're looking at yourself differently. You're like, yeah, I went through all that, but I'm still standing. Like this person took me down, but they didn't break me. I didn't stay down. You didn't stay down, Pisces. Congratulate yourself for that because you went through a lot is what I'm getting. And it wasn't easy to come out of the dark into the light. Like there may have been times you didn't see the light or you didn't see that things would get better or be good again. But um, it's like your arms are open. It's like you're open to change. You're open to what's next and what's new. You're open to feeling renewed and feeling better and just looking at life differently. You know, you're really smelling the roses. You're, you're going to enjoy life even more now. It's like you value yourself more now. I love that. You don't have that mentality of I'm just a victim. You're more than just what you've been through. You are what you want to be. You are choosing to become something stronger and better and more confident 
You're standing in your power, your courage. You're you're turning pain into power, basically. I love that. Okay. The uh, what's triggering this change in the reverse? You guys have mysticism. So I feel like what you've been through brought you closer to God and spirit. But I feel like some of you rebelled against this at a time. Some of you may be still rebelling against this, but you need to give all glory to God. You need to give God his praise and show that gratitude. Give thanks for everything that you have overcome. It was to make you stronger. It was to make you wiser. It was to make you smarter. It was to make you go harder for your life. I'm here. Somebody may have had to fight for their life. You know, and that's not always physical. Sometimes it's um, emotionally. So get more closer to God in spirit. Talk to your angels. Invite them into your life to help you build yourself even more, like to keep building up. So you need to read your Bible. You need to pray. And this keeps coming out in a lot of readings, either mysticism or prayer. But with yours being in reverse, spirit wants you to get closer to them. They want to hear from you. Your ancestors want to hear from you more. Your friends and your family on the other side want to hear from you. But God, number one, Jesus, number two, um, your angels, of course, your guides, of course, you have an entire spiritual team. Acknowledge that. Okay, Pisces. And if you have been, do it even more. Like start co-creating with spirit like never before. Pray like never before. And I mean, more often. Get more into spirit. Learn more about God. Learn more. Because the more you learn about God, the more you'll learn about yourself and your past and what you're here to do and how you are going to serve God by helping others. So you may find yourself um, reading books about angels or um, somebody around you may give you some information. Don't brush it off when it's spiritual. You know, take what resonates for you, but anything positive is always going to uplift you and send you in the right direction. You know what I mean? God is only good. God is great. God is awesome. God is magnificent. Without him, you couldn't make it. None of us can. Okay. Um, the action you can take from spirit, this is an upright service. See what I was just saying? You got to serve God by helping yourself and by helping others. Somebody may be reaching out for your help. And sometimes help is not always lending a hand. Sometimes it's just spending time with people, calling somebody, giving advice, cooking for somebody, sending over a gift or a gesture, a thank you card, a thank you note, um, a smile. I mean, just simple acts of kindness is what it's going to take. Be open to that. Don't let anything from the past or anything that's negative bring you down or take you away from your service into the world. We are all here to help others. That's a part of everybody's purpose, Pisces, is to help others. That's one way that we serve God, by helping others. And most of the time we do that through our careers or the jobs that we have. But we also do this by helping a neighbor up the stairs or um, taking a plate of food to a neighbor who know just had surgery or leaving food for other people. Um, you know, there's some really good people out here who are volunteering at different food banks and people who are giving their time. There's also medical professionals and doctors and therapists and um, lawyers and judges and teachers and just, you know, service workers, um, the military. We have um, garbage disposal companies and everybody doing their part, you know, to keep the world going and lift each other's spirits i'm hearing people give more compliments to each other so just anything that you can do may be little or big you know sometimes some people are giving out money to help other people pay their bills if they have extra some people are helping bag groceries so that the workers in the store are not so overworked with their arms and so tired because they had to bag so many more groceries because the lines are longer because we're spaced out and things are taking more time so there's so many ways that you can help you know, ask God, what can you do to serve him and help others and help his people? And remember to also help yourself, you know, keep growing, keep learning, keep elevating, learn about God, pick up that Bible. And if you don't understand the regular Bible, pick up a children's Bible, call a pastor or a priest or something. Spirit is calling you to serve more. 
That's what I'm seeing here. And I feel like all of us, honestly, all of us, you know, there's so many needy people out there, needy people out there that need help. Some will ask, some won't. Sometimes you don't have to let somebody ask. You can just step in and help. And this is every day, simple things. You know, somebody can be looking for batteries in the store and maybe they're somewhere where most people are not going to find them. You can help that person. Just simple acts of kindness. Okay. All right. So what's happening in your relationships with family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, or people around you could be relatives is rejection. Interesting. You may have rejected somebody or somebody may be telling you that they got rejected for a job offer or from a romantic interest. But I'm hearing whether this is you or them, I'm hearing is them. Somebody's going to be coming to you with a story about how they were rejected for something that they really wanted. It could be a promotion. It could be um, something they wanted to do. And they feel like they're being judged. I'm looking at the three people around this person in the middle. It's like everybody's watching him and he feels judged. But at the same time, like you may be the person to encourage your family member or your friend or your neighbor to keep going, to stay strong and to get into a hobby, do things that they love to do to take their mind off that rejection and to stay in a positive vibe so that they keep going. Okay. That's always important that, you know, rejection truly is God's protection in my opinion. And so, you know, tell them to stay neutral, see the blessing in it, you know, take the high road, stay positive. Okay. This is a good time to encourage people to be more spiritual. Okay. This is a good time to um, embrace spirit for yourself and to um, encourage that for other people. Absolutely. This is, you know, get your connection to spirit. And just keep doing positive things. Somebody may need to take up a new hobby is what I'm getting. All right. Yeah, I'm hearing also <laughs> everything you lose or is rejected from is not always a loss. Everything you lose is not a loss. Every rejection is not bad, even if it feels that way initially, because it can be embarrassing or it could make you sad. But if it's not for you, it's not for you. Just look forward to what's next and what is for you. God always makes a way. All right. The outcome, Pisces, you guys have in reverse uh, forgiveness. OK, this is interesting. Forgiveness. You may be asking why somebody hasn't forgiven you or you haven't forgiven them is what I'm hearing. And it could be somebody you're not forgiven. I'm getting like, and I say this often, and it always comes to me to say this when I see the word forgiveness. God forgives. Who are we not to? But forgiveness and reconciliation they're not the same thing. You don't have to go back and be buddy, buddy with somebody if you don't want to. But understand this. If you do want to forgive and reconcile, that's up to you. Listen to your instinct. Trust your intuition, okay? Your inner knowing. But you can forgive somebody without being their friend or romantic interest or partner or whatever. You can still forgive them and you need to. Because if you hold that cloud over your head, it could turn into hate and it can eat at you. Hate is such a strong word. Don't give it that much power. Hate injustice. You know, if you're going to hate something, don't hate somebody. You may hate what they did or what they do. Don't hate them because they're probably a lost or broken soul that hasn't been found yet. And we are all just trying to find our way. Some people really need enlightenment. Some people may need you to explain some things. Don't feel like, well, they should know better. You know what? They probably should. But maybe that's a lesson they just didn't get. And I'm not making any excuses because wrong is wrong. And if somebody's wronged you, they definitely owe you an apology. But apology means nothing without change behavior. It's just acknowledgement. And it's nothing wrong with acknowledging what you've done. But in most cases, people have done it over and over again which means they haven't learned and that could make you feel bitter or upset or hurt. 
people can really send other people through like a plethora of emotions. Some of you need to forgive yourself for things you could have done better. The best way to overcome the feelings of guilt is to be a better person. To lift your spirits and raise your vibration by changing. You may need to change how you deal with people, how you interact, how you talk to somebody. Especially if it's something like people keep complaining that you're doing over and over again. Like if you're ghosting or if you are somebody who you're very snappy with somebody. Or if you come across as very disrespectful, you may want to change your word choice so that you can live an easier, happier, happier lifestyle. Change can be good when your intentions are good. And whether somebody accepts your forgiveness or not, you can have that private conversation with God about forgiveness. You can forgive somebody just with that conversation because it starts really within you. And sometimes forgiveness takes time. It's not always overnight. Sometimes you have to say it even when you don't mean it until you do mean it. You may have to keep saying it or somebody may have to keep telling you. But like I said, without changed behavior, it's just acknowledgement. People really have to implement those changes and that's where people get stuck. That's the hard part. But people who are truly sorry, they don't want to repeat bad habits. They don't want to repeat bad behavior, inconsistency, lying, negativity. They don't want to be on that anymore. So somebody may have to earn your trust back. You know, take it how it resonates for you. But um, there's, there's, there's a guilty party here. Somebody definitely feels guilt. Interesting reading. Very interesting reading, Pisces. Very interesting. But overall, something is going to make you happy. And that's always something to be uplifted about. Be inspired is what I'm hearing as well. Be inspired. You may be inspired to change or somebody may be inspired by you. Don't be surprised if somebody tell you that. They may be inspired by your strength. Okay, so let's get to part three of your reading, Pisces. I am going to close your reading with an overall message from the Earth Magic deck. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Pisces for the month of February, year 2021. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. Pisces, for Pisces spirit. What's the overall message for Pisces? Mm. Oh, wow. So you guys got joy. And you also have summer solstice rebirth. I do take them off the floor because if it came out, it's important to me. And you also have shape shifting at the bottom of the deck clouds. Something is going your way. It's going in your favor. This is amazing. I'm loving this energy for you. You have the sun. This is the happiest card in the deck. And it's not just yellow. It's orange. So it's interesting. It's like you have two suns. Because I take that joy card to be like the sun. Something's going to make you dance and celebrate. Something's coming in that's in your favor. Something's about to go your way. You're about to win something. Or you could be coming into some type of abundance. You know, something is leading to your bliss. But this was after the rain. This was after the storms. But now things are going in your favor. Things are shape-shifting. That means things are moving. Things are going in your direction. They're going your way. The clouds are going to clear up. And it's going to be a clear sky. And the sun's going to come out. And you get to celebrate something really cool here. You're going to radiate. You're going to stand out. You may be looking like more beautiful than ever. Uh, somebody may see you as a star, but you have sun to me twice. 
is how I'm seeing this in the same reading. This is incredible. So expect good news. Expect something wonderful to happen. Something joyous. You will have a reason to smile. Well, I love this energy for you because I feel like you went through a lot to get here. This wasn't this wasn't simple. This wasn't easy. It's like I'm I'm hearing like you're going to be triumphant. Stay close to God in spirit at all times. All times. I'm telling you God is able. He is able. We cannot do it without him. And that's period. Okay, Pisces, this has been your reading for the month of February, your 2021. I hope these messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as possible. I'm wishing you so much love and light and blessings. And Valentine's Day is coming up and I hope everybody has a good one. Enjoy yourself. Even if you are buying some chocolates or a gift for yourself, some flowers, some roses, watching yourself a good movie, a nice dinner. Even if you're by yourself, enjoy yourself. Be happy, dance, be jolly. And you can also pick a Valentine's Day. It could be your daughter, your your son, your um, mom, your dad, or a relative, or one of your little nieces and nephews. But understand this. There's so much good in life. Focus on that. Focus on the sweetness of life. Okay. Pisces, I'm wishing you so much love and light, infinite joy and abundance. Bye, Pisces.